Joining me now in the studio to talk about EVGA's ICX cooling technology is Jan Jonas from EVGA. Thank you for coming in today. Thanks for having me. Now, EVGA have always been at the cutting edge, as we know, of cooling technology. So talk us through how ICX works. Um, well, before I get to ICX, let's go a little bit back in history. Okay. Um, in uh, 2002, EVGA brought out a cooler called ACS2. And this cooler was actually the very first cooler using a heat pipe on a graphics card. A heat pipe is um, something where you cool basically a pipe which transports okay. the heat from the hot spot to the cooler place. Ah. And this is a kind of cooling technology which back in the days everybody was a little bit mm. laughing about us, will yeah. that really work <laughs> and uh, everything like that. But nowadays everything is about heat pipes. Of course, you, yeah. you find that on every graphics card, you find that even on, in laptops, in tablets, everywhere. And the heat pipes just that you maybe also see them are okay. these ones which go through the whole card. Yeah, and um, the point is that EVGA always try to, to be a step ahead. And uh, with ICX, we've achieved that again. Um, we introduced in 2017, in February, with the 10 series cards, the ICX technology, ICX cooling and ICX technology. And yeah, I would like to explain you a little bit more about it. Excellent. You're certainly very innovative, as you say, with the developments that you do within cooling technology. Um, ICX have got nine sensors. What's the reason for that? Talk us through everything. Exactly. We have uh, nine additional sensors. So if you take, I have a naked card for you <laughs> a here. Naked one? Yeah. <laughs> this is yeah, this is a naked um, <laughs> graphics card, and uh, this is a 1080. And uh, just, it's easier to explain if I tell you the basically what kind of components we have on the whole graphics card, on the whole PCB. Sure. Um, you have the GPU, which is right here. Mm -hmm. Here you always have on every graphics card, you have one temperature sensor, one. And uh, now with ICX, you have nine sensors. And uh, you have those sensors, obviously, at those places uh, where the heat is the most, yeah, or the heat is really where you have to cool. And uh, this is the memories, which are over here around the GPU. Here are the memories. And then we have the power, the PWM section, which is over here. And these are really the things you want to take a look, you want to monitor. Um, and yes, as you mentioned, we have nine additional sensors all over the place in here. You can see that very well through our software, Precision XOC. Okay, so talk us through the three screens here then. How do we control and operate those ones? Sure. So these are fan curves um, where you can individually control these three fans. As you can see here, you have now three fan curves, one for the GPU, one for the memory, and one for the power. Okay. And here really comes the customizable in. You, you can say, okay, I want to overclock my card, I want to have it as cool as possible. Then you just may like go very crazy and make a very aggressive fan curve. Okay. Or you say, no, I want a silent mode. And I, for example, did now hear that the card or the fan for the GPU will not spin up until 60 degrees. Ah, okay. But then will spin with 60%. Ah, handy, very handy indeed. Yeah. Now would be a perfect point, I suppose, then to power it up and uh, see this one flex its muscles. Can you show us All that? All right, sure, of course. So here we can run the 3D benchmark, which kind of um, simulates a very high load, um, like when you game for a long time. Sure. So we just uh, let that run. It's a 4K solution, Fire Strike Ultra 3D mark. And we just hit run. Okay. And uh, with Precision XOC, you also have the, it's called OSD, the option OSD, on-screen display. Yeah. And uh, there you have also all the temperatures of the nine sensors, of the nine additional sensors, and the GPU temperature, of course, as you can see in the very uh, left corner, top left corner, there you have now GPU temperature one, two, G uh, memory temperatures, the power temperatures, and you will see now they will race. Once the benchmark started, they will race. And the first, the first one racing will be the GPU temperature. This is always the first one which will race. And once it hits um, the, the degrees we just set, the fan will spin. It was 60 degrees, right? So this fan will spin up, but those not because they just don't need to. Sure. So you also have a kind of silent, more silent operation. But once they hit a, a temperature which you set by yourself, yep they will also start to spin. So we just have to let it run a little bit further. They run different sections here, so now the next one is loading. It's a really nice way, though, of giving the user some input so that the card really feels like it's theirs and they can use it in the exactly. way that they like to game. Yeah, I mean, there is a default, right, that you can just install the card and it will already work very, very good and properly, but the idea of that you can really customize your card as you like it, as you prefer, yeah. is very nice. Very cool. So the power fan is going now. Exactly, the power fan is going right now. 
And now also the memory jumps uh -huh. in, right? And this is as we just configured it now. And now everything is running. So and when maybe in a game later on, the load will not be that much anymore. And uh, those will cool down, those will stop again. Yeah, and, and again, you can customize that over the fan curves. But yeah, really nice feature, as well as the peace of mind that your card isn't going to overheat at any point. Exactly, that's all, also what we say, peace of mind gaming. You really don't have to. You want to set it up as you like it, and then it's really a peace of mind gaming, and you can concentrate on your game. Absolute confidence. Of course, as well, the IC, well, ICX isn't just about the three fans, though, is it? No, it's not just these three fans and not just the sensors. And we kind of split it in two. It's ICX cooling and ICX technology. ICX. Technology is what I just explained, the sensors, the asynchronous fans and everything customized. Um, but ICX cooling um, comes also in, for example, with a backplate. A backplate is something what is used for graphic card generation already for quite a long time. But they more are for like look, let the card look a little bit more beautiful. Um, as you can imagine, you don't want to have the naked we PCB. We don't want the naked it. one. Yeah, we don't want the naked <laughs> one, exactly. So what, what they did is they just put a backplate on it to have it look more clean. Yeah. It still looks very clean, looks very nice, but now it also has a function. So as you can see here, um, we added some thermal pads ah, under, okay. the, under the back plate to, especially in the sections where the heat is, ah. in the, again, memory and power GPU. And here, with those, um, with those thermal pads, now the heat will transport it out of the cart. Ah. So you, Quite in total, have a, yeah, have a better cooling solution. And that's not it. It's, there is more in the cart which you can discover. For example, these are pin fins on the base plate, yep. which basically also helps to bring the heat from the cart away. And also with ICX technology, you have RGB as a thing, right? Yeah. Currently, oh, we so, all love RGB. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what you, what you can do is you can customize up here all the colors you would like. Amazing. And you you'll even can synchronize them with our closed loop cooler, CPU cooler as well. And there's also, again, a function for the RGB. So I explained, right, the three sections, GPU, memory, yeah. power. And those three sections, you also can um, kind of set a default alarm, visual alarm. Um, wow. That works also quite easy with our Precision XOC software. Okay. Um, you have a um, thermal LED section right here. Ah, exactly. Okay. And here you can uh, set three colors, right? I mean, if it's um, very cool, obviously you would like to choose blue maybe, or just choose a different color, whatever you like. And also you can set the temperature. So for example, if it hits 60 degrees, it will turn green. Like this is a normal operating temperature for a card. Green yep. is optimized temperature, um, normal operating, or you said the colors you like. And those three colors uh, will be um, shown right here. Very cool. I like that. Well, listen, thank you very much for coming all the way from Germany to tell us about ICX. Thank you. And if you'd like to find out more about EVGA's ICX technology, you can view the full range on the SCAN website.